guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do the top 8 newborn must-haves. So right now my daughter is actually almost 6 months old, but these are all the products I have used when she was a newborn, and I still use all of them still. So I'll probably still be using them mostly the first year of her life, to be honest with you. But I definitely suggest getting these 8 items before you have your baby so you have it ready for when they are born. So my first pregnant or my first newborn must have is a boppy pillow. Absolutely love the boppy pillow. So I do not breastfeed, I formula feed, but I still find it a huge life saver. Um, I use this to prop her up to feed her, to cuddle. Um, I put it around my waist and she lays here and we feed. Um, I use it for her to prop up for tummy time so she can get used to trying to crawl now. Um, I used it for tummy time when she was born as well because she didn't really like it unless she was elevated a little bit. So if your baby doesn't like tummy time, this might be a good idea to use as well. So yeah, that's my first. Um, my second must have is gripe water. This stuff is amazing. Um, it's by Equate, and yeah, so um, in the beginning, when she was a newborn, um, she was transitioning from breastfeeding, <laughs> we didn't really do breastfeeding very well, but yeah, breastfeeding to formula feeding was very hard on her stomach at first, um, and she's a very gassy baby, so gripe water helped a lot. Um, probably the first two months she was quite gassy, so we used it almost every night at bedtime because she became very fussy at nighttime because of her gas. And recently she is going through that again, so gripe water, must have. Um, yeah, another must have is the nose little suction-y thing. Um, this one comes with a second piece that you can connect on instead of the nose part, you can do it for the ears. So this one's pretty good. I got this from Shoppers, I believe. I will link it down below. I link all these things down below, actually. <laughs> so yeah, this one, she has really bad boogers. A lot of boogers all the time so this is our friend she hates it but it works amazing so yeah um, another must-have is the pacifier oh I know the controversial pacifier Ooh. Uh, I know I did not want to give my baby a pacifier but she likes to suck on everything um, specifically her hands and it does not end well with a newborn that does not know what they're doing with their hands. So as soon as my baby girl came out, she was sucking on her thumb. First thing she did. I am assuming she did a lot in the womb as well, because she was very good at it. Um, so the pacifier was very big in our house. I didn't use it the first month and a half, two months, just because I was so against it. But she ended up um, scratching her face a lot because she would suck her thumb and she'd kind of um, scratch her face for comfort while she was doing it. Um, and also she didn't have very good hand-eye coordination so she would like poke herself in the eye and all this stuff. So I resulted in the pacifier. She still uses it but only uses it to fall asleep at night time or nap time. She's fine at night without it. She's fine during the day. We don't use it to stop her from crying or anything. But she does use it for comfort when having a nap because she finds it hard to fall asleep. Um, but other than that she's over the whole phase of scratching her face. Um, she does it a little bit, but not as much, and she did not like those little mitten things. She would freak out if we even tried to put them on. <laughs> so this was our next thing. I am going to try to eliminate it um, now that she only uses it for nap time. I don't know if I should just pick my battles and let her do it, or if I should try to eliminate it completely. Let me know what you guys think, because I don't know about this one, because I don't want her to get addicted. Because <laughs> you know babies get addicted to this thing. Okay, another must-have is my diaper cream. She has not had a rash since she's been born, but I think it is definitely because of this. Um, it's called Cinecofax. Um, it's fragrance-free. Um, yeah, and it's a pretty good consistency. It's not, like, hard. A lot of them are, like, a hard gelatin. This is more of, like, a cream, like a lotion type thing. Um, and it works wonders. I've used it for, she gets eczema, I've used it on her eczema a little bit too, um, and that's helped. So this is 
Docker recommended number one. Um, so it's really good, and she has not had a diaper rash yet, so I leave it to this. It, it could just be her, but I think it's this. <laughs> Another must-have is a muslin swaddle. These things are amazing. I actually got it from my sister's boyfriend as a baby shower gift. Um, they're very light and humongous. I don't even think I can get it all in the frame. But yeah, it's quite big. Um, I've used it just to swaddle her. She's not a huge fan of swaddle, but we light swaddle her, so this is good for that. Um, we used it for the sun, for rain, for anything. Like, we just put it over her car seat. Um, it's really good for the sun because it's not too thick, and it still gives you circulation so that they don't get too hot and all that fun stuff. Um, she likes to play with it. I don't know, she loves blankies. She likes cuddling them and playing with them and sucking on them. So she loves these ones the most. And I highly recommend these because they're light and you can fold them to make them thicker and warmer, which is awesome. And they're humongous. Like I've used it in the park to lay on, not the white ones, but <laughs> yeah, I've used it for so many things and I love them. So must have right there. Another must have is this lotion. Oh my goodness, I cannot recommend this lotion anymore. This is called Cetaphil Baby Daily Lotion. We also use the body wash as well because my daughter has the sensitive skin ever. She gets really bad eczema, really bad sun rash, all that stuff. Um, she could just be out in the sun, like out in the hot, and she'll get a heat rash, like nothing, like two seconds flat. Um, she has the ginger, like, delicate light skin, so this is a must-have, and since we've started using it, ooh, baby, it's worked wonders. Highly recommend. Get this stuff. The body wash as well, because it's so amazing. So, yeah, the Cetaphil, definitely a must-have. And last but not least, um, this I actually did not use until she was about five months, four months old I started using it, but I definitely wish I had it from the start, which is the Sleep Sheep. So basically, um, it connects to her crib or bassinet, whatever, and it has like these controls, and you can turn up the volume, and then they have different sounds. They have nature, rain, water. I don't even know what that is. But yeah, and you can turn up the volume and you can set it for 23 minutes or 45 minutes. I usually keep it on the 45 minute timer. I use this while she goes down for a nap and when she goes to bed for the night. Um, and it helps a lot just to drown out any of the sounds. And again, it only lasts for 45 minutes tops, so she's not like relying on this to sleep or anything. It's just to get her initially to fall asleep, which I find very helpful. And it's so cute and cozy. <laughs> So yeah, that is all of my newborn must-haves. Again, I still use them all, so I guess they're just baby must-haves, not really sure. But I highly recommend you get all these products um, just in case when you have your baby. Or even now, now that your baby's a little bit older, just use them. <laughs> Some babies might not like them, but my daughter is definitely a big fan of all these products, and I definitely would not have lived her little newborn stage without them. <laughs> I can tell you that. So yeah. Thanks guys for watching, please like and maybe subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.